Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, eight, ten. Elliot. Hey, on this version of Royal Goose, James goes to clown college so he can learn another joke to tell at the end of this episode. Well, actually, there is something I wanted to talk about. No. So, you were talking so about... So, when I went to the grocery store... <laughs> yeah. So, you were talking about your parents last episode. Yeah. So, <laughs> you, you yesterday when we talked on the phone, you were telling me that uh, uh, you, for the first time ever, showed them Royal Goofs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't show them. I told him about it. My dad like just looked it up immediately. Did he, and he saw? No, he didn't. We were in public. I was like, "Don't watch that shit in public." Uh, okay. So he hasn't seen it. He just knows of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. See, my uh, my mother and dad, my, my mother and father, they have seen it. They they have interesting reactions. A lot of it they find funny, and some of them <laughs> like. Before my mother had even seen it, like you remember in the fir in our banjo playthrough, and I was like. I like moon hats where you take a steak knife and cut off kids' asses and put them on cowboy hats. I like moon hats. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, that's a pretty fucking weird joke. Like, fucked up joke. <laughs> of all of the things you said, I think that's probably the most, the like... The most fucked up. Yeah. Well, you know, so... So, the, the thing is... So, I told her Talking that... Talking about little children cutting their buttholes. I want you to... Not fucking butt holes. Cut their the butt off? <laughs> Okay, well then you'd say butt cheek. The butt usually refers to the butthole and the butt cheek. Well, well, no, yeah, it's yeah. So you kind well, of they do it on spot. Remember, Mr. Crab's like, I'll have your rear ends cut off and mounted over me fireplace. <laughs> they can do it on sponge. Yeah, bobs, but they're but talking I about can't. rear ends, and they're not talking about little children. You're like, I'm gonna uh, go to little children and cut their <laughs> butt off. Like what? <laughs> okay. I totally. I I mm -hmm. I get it. Yeah, no, you're I right. get it. But but anyway, so like I. <laughs> So I, I told her about that joke, and she she just did not find it funny at all. So I guess she's not a fan of dark humor. I I, I just brought it oh, up, and she fuck. she was just like really. <sighs> if I do this again, I'm fucking pooping my pants. Sorry. I, Are you I waiting for the water off. level to rise? No, I fucking fell off three times. Oh, 3D platforming. God damn it. Yes. So so, but yeah, I, I told her about it, and she just looked at me with a completely serious face, and she said, James. That's not funny. I'm like, well, what do you mean? It's messed up. It's called dark humor. It's, and she's like, no, James, that's evil. That's really, evil. really bad. She, she was just like dead serious. I'm like, uh, okay. If you say so. Evil. Whereas my father, he's more like, you guys need to swear less. I mean, you guys know that in our Banjo Tui Let's Play when he made a guest appearance over the phone. Yeah. Sure did. Yeah, he's not a fan of it. He's like, James, you should probably just censor it with a bleep every time you swear. And I'm like, fuck that. <laughs> Ride uncut. All right, so I see what you're doing. So the water level. Well, that rising. was that was an interesting mini. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? Every time that same fucking <laughs> one. Holy shit! <laughs> fucking retarded. Hey, if you fail again, Jesus do you want me to try and do it? Right. Now I got the next one. 3D platformers are my forte. No, it's just because I keep rushing it, and then this fucking one clips right at the edge there, and uh, then I fucking fall off, and it's a slide. fucking piece of shit. I won't fall off this time. I'm just... I, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Alright, so you got the double jump. <sighs> I, I, I'd like to see how your parents react to Royal Gives. Like, like, you said your father has a good sense of humor, so... Yeah. I just remember the whole, like... My dad is an N64, and I said, well, where's the joystick? I wonder how he would react to that. As I told you off camera, he'd probably think it's funny. Yeah, dude. Um, <laughs> I know you told me off camera. Know, I'm just, just sharing like... with the fucking audience, dude. Oh, I know. It just felt like an awkward, repeated conversation. Like, let's have the same conversation as before, Peppy. Hey, energy tank acquired, bitch. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. How wonderful! A hundred energy tank! Just delightful! <laughs> hey guys, 101 on how to trigger a brony. Shut Make him feel awkward oh as shit. <laughs> God damn. That is nothing. Okay, anyways. There's, kids, there's a little thing called don't feed, don't feed the troll. It's, it's when you don't reply. Actually, you know, there's something on the topic, since I bring up bronies every once in a while. Oh, sure. On the radio the other day, the a radio station that we both listened to, mm -hmm. uh, they were talking on one of the talk shows about 
<laughs> how they think how fucked up the bronies are. They're just like, oh, all great. of them are just fucking sexual deviants, and it's really fucked up. I was like, and I was just thinking of you the whole time. They're like, yeah, dude, they just like fucking make porn out of it and shit. And I was like... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is it that show? Yeah, it's that show. <laughs> no, I love that show. Well, I've just lost some... Well, you know what? No, they just don't fucking know, you know? They just don't know. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, they're not wrong. There are... It, that's <laughs> they're not wrong all oh, bronies are make well no fucking... the thing is like the thing is every single fandom has those kind of people who make rule 34 crap yeah every I mean, single one and does. I, i'm not saying that there's a ton of people in the brony community that do but i i think there is a higher percentage a higher maybe percentage, than like really and then in like why you is know, that <laughs> because it's fucking all over it's notorious for it and people who mm -hmm. aren't in the community it's, also make it as a joke, right? Dude, it's only notorious. God damn, well, what yes. The fuck. It's it's no. You got to use your regular gun. No, it's see how the door is not lit up. Oh, it should be loading right now. Maybe this one's offline. Oh, you got to scan it. This no power. No, oh, called uh, it. Okay. No power. So maybe we do have to go into the fortress first. Okay. We're gonna go. So we just wasted our time with this. Doing yeah. all that jumping and falling and stuff. No. Are you talking about there? No, we're going into here. The yeah, that's... pirate fortress. Yeah, when you said here, I meant there. As uh, when right... I said there, I meant here. I meant this door right here. Oh, but <laughs> what I was saying was that, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like people maybe who aren't even bronies, like, get into that shit to, like... Like, they make comics and fucking jokes because it's, like, an easy joke, right? Yeah, dude. It's, no. like, penis. Like, you know, that's a fucking stupid, easy joke. It's not very funny, but, like, it's easy to do. Just yeah, like man. it's easy to make a comic with like a, a brony being sexualized or whatever. Yeah, no, it's it, it's mainly because of like I I'm, I won't ask like I'm an, I won't act like I'm an expert or anything on why that is, but honestly, you know, it's the show. It's you know I'm not even gonna get into it. This is a, a huge open up a, a big can of worms. Uh, there's something else. Let's let's just chew on a grub then. Hey, Puma, this looks like a place where we can wrestle out some grub. <laughs> Ew, what's that? A grub. What's it look like? <laughs> <laughs> I actually just recently got why that joke is funny. For the oh. longest time, I just thought, okay. But then I realized, oh, wait, it's because he means literally a grub, not food, <laughs> as in slang for food. You know, I grub. was talking <laughs> to Jen about that the other day. I was like, I don't understand why the term grub like got why associated food? with food. Like, did people used to eat grub worms or something, or...? I, I don't I mean, fucking know. I mean, I'm pretty confident people have done that, so... Hey, should we bring in my special guest all the time? Google? Google? Hey, Google. Fucking trash. What? Wants me to unlock the screen. Do you want me to do that for you? Nope. We're good. Oh, okay. You... Fucking Google will... Google's being punished now. Wait, now it's... Couldn't find your voice. Yeah, it can, it can detect my voice. I mean, I can do it on my phone. Oh, yeah, all right, you do it. I got two hands free. Fuck yeah. Let's see why Grub is, uh, that shit. Let's see, I, I almost never do this, though. Okay, let's see, uh... Okay. <laughs> of course, I naturally go to Bing instead. <laughs> well, that's fine, you know, we gave Google a chance. Why is... Oh, I have to get an app to use it? <laughs> what the f... Does, is that how it works with Google? Well, I have a Google phone. I yeah, you know what? I'm just here, here, fuck this, fuck Why this. is grub slang for food? Why is grub slang for food? Okay, give me the dictionary. According to Worldwide Words, oh, yeah. the larval sense comes from this because grubs often feed in leaf litter or around roots. The slang sense of human food appears around the middle of the 17th century and is oh, also yeah. linked to grubbing in the ground for something to eat. What? Okay, uh -huh. so maybe it's like... It's how you dig for grub worms, you dig for food. Maybe huh. that's where it comes from, because they said grubbing around. I've never heard of grubbing around, but maybe that means digging for food. Maybe because you dig for worms and you dig for food. I guess so. Man, Wowie. You, it's it's always weird, like, these freight. We never think about where they come from. Oh, I do all the time. I love that shit. What were we talking about before we started talking about fucking grubs? Bronies? And, stuff? <laughs> and then you Wait, said, before that? Uh, I was making you feel awkward for having a conversation we already had. You know, I've noticed this is kind of a reoccurring trend, my dear uh, King Cletus. You sure like to make me feel awkward. Oh, yeah, it's great. The audience it's a lot probably of fun, loves it, isn't dude. It? <laughs> I mean, I mm -hmm. like watching. You know, I like, like, the British office. You ever seen it? Uh, no, I haven't, actually. Okay, it's very full of, like, fucking awkward situations that if you're watching, you're just like, like 
oh god just like you cringe yeah 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 it's the kind so, where it's like oh god I'm, I'm, yeah so next time we make elliot cringe bye yay